The third thing that we've been working on now for a year or two is something that we called Spectrum, but we now refer to as the Lake House, which is really about being able to query not just the data that you have stored locally in nodes in Redshift, but also across your data lake in S3. And not surprisingly, as people start querying across both Redshift and S3, they also want to be able to query across their operational databases, where a lot of important data sets live. And so today, we just released something called Federated Query, which now lets you query across Redshift, S3, and our relational database services, including Aurora Postgres. And then, when you're doing this querying across all these data stores and getting these aggregated data sets in Redshift, customers want to move those data sets back to the data lake because they want to let all the other analytics services and machine learning services be able to use those as well. And that actually turns out to be difficult and a pain in the butt to actually do. You have to do all kinds of work. And so we've made that easy for you with a new query um, called uh, Data Lake Export that we're releasing today as well for Redshift. So Redshift is continuing to iterate at a very fast clip based on a lot of what you're telling us matters to you.